Mark in the minivan drinking some uh, Dunkin' Donuts. What we do is it's black, but we mix in some sugar-free vanilla. Or no, no, that's wrong. Sugar-free coconut is mixed in here. So, and this is a dog named Pearl, who is uh, very anxious for her walk today in the rain here in New Jersey. And no agenda here. Man, I listened back to some of these these Mark in the Minivan episodes uh, <laughs> I've been doing. God, thank you for watching them, because I think they're horrendous. I'm stuttering. I'm saying, ah, ah, like every other word. It's diarrhea of the mouth. Somebody, somebody said that about one of the videos, and they were trying to be critical, and uh, they're right, man. These, these, are, these are rough. So thank you for watching them. I will tell you they're honest, and you will get my honest take on, on things. So I wanted to, to go there today. I, and again, this is a real loose agenda. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm going with this. But uh, I started listening. You know, I listened to a lot of books on Audible. I was listening to a new book that came out by a famous person. And they were talking about, well, this is why I made it. This is why I'm famous kind of implying that listen you if you want to be famous you got to do it the way I did it and this is how the fame happened for me and it's weird man because because for me personally whenever these famous people write a book you know when Oprah talks about this is the way you need to do it to end up like me like Oprah the, these people don't live in reality and I love them I listen I, I love all the rock stars I love all the famous movie stars I've read I've read all the books not all of them but a lot of them but when you have fame especially on that superstar level you don't have a good understanding of why you're there but I think as the individual who's had this amazing opportunity and who's ended up in this amazing spot you try to figure it out because it's 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 pretty fucked up, man. You're you're a rock star. You're selling out Madison Square Garden. You don't know how you got there. You know, you're like, well, I worked hard. Well, I ended up with like-minded people in my band. Yeah, yeah, and sure, did that did that stuff play into it? Yes. But out of the billions of people on this planet, if you don't think there's somebody else who worked just as hard as you, and was just as talented as you, that didn't get there, that never ended up there, then you're delusional. And and I give all these guys a pass who have made it big time because they are delusional and, and rightfully so, man, rightfully so. I mean, can you imagine trying to figure out how you got to a certain place? Sometimes there just isn't a definitive answer as to how you got there the stars align certain opportunities presented themselves you you had the once in a lifetime uh connection with different managers different people you were in the right place at the right time along with the hard work listen i i don't put that aside pearl i don't put that aside but there's no real true explanation and, you know, I've read a little bit about Sam Harris. Uh, I've read a lot of his books, actually. And some of it's just depressing, man, because I think Sam Harris is a brilliant, brilliant thinker. But he has a book about free will and about how he almost believes that there's no free will at all. And it, that goes into, like, you look at, like, Albert Einstein's theories, and people are like, well, Albert Einstein was didn't believe in Dar Darwinism and all that. Yeah, but Al Albert Einstein believed that your path was laid out for you when you were born and and there's there's not much you can do to stray from the path so there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we don't understand in the universe and i guess what i'm trying to say is don't take the advice of some billionaire um guy who's trying to tell you how to also be a billionaire or to be a successful rock star or to be uh, a successful sports star. I mean, sports is a little different because, yeah, that talent is is undeniable. Um, however, even there, man, I mean, there's there's people who who probably could have been amazing athletes but never got into the you know NBA or Major League Baseball, and they lost their opportunity, and and then their their technique and stuff was was diminished over time. So, man, it's a weird thing. But all, all I'm trying to say is 
read the books, man. Read all their books. Maybe you'll learn something, but but don't don't set yourself up. If I read this guy's book, I'm going to be able to understand why he sells out a tour and why he was so successful in business because there's just no logical explanation. Life is much more complicated than that. All right, so that's that's where I'm going. I'm sorry, boring video. I'm not I'm not talking about Vinnie Vincent being a, a dope or anything like that. I, I was gonna actually talk about how how fucking cool Gene Simmons is on this video, because you know I hear a lot of people say, well, Gene is just awful. He does this. He you know doesn't respect women. He's a trumper. He does this. Yeah, and and I hear all that. I hear all that. But out of all the famous people I've met, he was absolutely one of the most coolest. And, and and nicest people and I've written about it on Facebook in years past but I might do a video about it because Gene is Gene is an interesting guy who I have a ton of respect for so yeah maybe I'll do that in the next video until then I'm sorry it's a rainy day slow news day and this is my therapy man I like just talking I just like talking to you guys support me on Patreon <laughs>